No chemicals or preservatives, just 100% honest to goodness hickory smoked meat. Let's put another shrimp on the barbie. Boy, some chicken wings have really hit the spot. You ain't got no better food like some chicken wings, some baby back ribs, some fries or something? Look at that, just two guys talking, am I right? He's just talking. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I was just the, I was filling the music and I just sent it, you know. Hey, I uh, I support it. I also think that my oh, there we go. Now we've got some volume. Was our mics not on? No, just mine. Oh, nice. So I'll I'll repeat. Hey, howdy, hey. <laughs> it's like the one thing that people really like. I think that's true. But no, we uh, we had to. Do some recording in the pit for Charlie's YouTube channel. Yeah. Congratulations to Charlie, man. Oh, man. It's one of those things where I hate it. Not so much that he has one, but just like putting your kids out on the internet's a scary thing. Yeah, for sure. But I'm also like trying to under like cope with and realize the world I grew up in is not the world he's growing up in. Mm. <clears throat> so if he's going to be brave and put himself out there, that's... I don't know. Maybe that's the equivalent for going out for the school play or yeah. calling a girl for the first time. There's probably so much truth to that. Yeah. I, Starting your YouTube channel. Man, mm. I hate it. But yeah. <laughs> I uh, I am glad he is proud. But yeah, he, I think I think we had some extra fingers on the on the setup this week. Nice. So. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Anyways. If we weren't authentic, we'd go back and restart this episode to change the flow. But, but we will never. No. Never. So what? Uh, what's new with you, Mike? Dude. Uh, summertime. Loving that. It's getting hot. Getting real hot. Oh. Which we're going to kind of talk about today. But It like went from pleasant to almost chilly to 90 degrees overnight, I it feel really like. It really did. I hate it. I uh I found out if I lay on my kitchen floor right with my head kind of facing the sink, the vent blows right down my whole body. So I've just been laying there when I get home from work, just laying there just like ah. <laughs> and I have a very small kitchen, so it is extremely inconvenient for anybody that needs to go in there. But it has been quite nice the last couple of days. <laughs> I'm laughing especially because uh our our lab nana mm -hmm. has found the same spot in our yeah. kitchen <laughs> and when you can't find her she is literally there just like laying face into the air just like Dude. please cool me off nana gets it man i mean i uh yeah i like it i yeah. hate being hot yeah beans uh beans claim the spot that the air blows underneath the couch oh nice so that's where he lays is right in front of that spot on the couch nice so nana yeah, I think Nana's actually got a better one, but she's got cold tile too. Mm. That is pretty nice because I have the LVT flooring or whatever, and it's mm -hmm. nice and cool. Yeah, nice. Big fan. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, in other news, John, I bought a pizza oven. You did buy a pizza oven. Yeah, I'm we'll, excited to hear about this. Yeah, we'll talk about that. It, it's been. Uh, I mean, by buy a pizza oven, I mean Whitney came home with it yesterday. So hey. You know, count it. I have very little time with it, but so far, pretty impressed. No, so. I'm excited to hear about it. Yeah, we can do a little compare and contrast with the Blackstone. Oh, yeah, that'll be good. But, uh, yeah, I think but first, the... what were we gonna do first? Well, we've got a shout out. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. But I was also just gonna like kind of like soft brag about the fact that I cooked 12 pork shoulders in one oh, night. Oh, yeah, tell us about that. Um, it was not <laughs> what I was planning on. Uh, the original ask was six pork shoulders, and I was like, "Sure, like I can throw six pork pork shoulders mm -hmm. on my uh, on my ironwood." And then the the guy showed up, and he was like, "Yeah, so I bought 150 pounds of pork." 
And I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's a lot of meat for <laughs> for one meal. Um, and he only had a couple of smokers that he was taking up to the camp. And then I cooked here and took him up. Mm-hmm. Um, well, you know that. You came with me. I did. I was there. But I can verify. Yeah, did 12 pork shoulders. I should have looked at the weights. It was probably, I don't know, it was probably in like the 80, 85 pound range okay. of pork shoulders that, man, I just, I slammed them. I didn't really trim them hardly at all. Like I checked the, the vein on the bottom, made sure that wasn't too bad, cross hatched the, the fat cap and used a, it's a pork barrel. I think is what it's called. It's a rub from Sam's Club. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've used that. Yeah. Just a great um, AP rub. Not a ton of sugar. Um, a little bit more on the savory side mm-hmm. because it doesn't have that sweetness. But it was had, really good. Yeah. I think I had all 12 pork shoulders on in like 40 minutes. Yeah. So I was flying to get them done. Which you were telling me the first pork shoulder you ever cooked, you spent like more time than that just trimming it. Dude, I spent, I think I spent an hour and a half <laughs> or two hours trimming my first pork shoulder. Oh. So, yeah, we're significantly faster now. Moved on a little. Yeah. Huh? But had six on here, six on over at my dad's house on his, uh, on his 34. And yeah, they rolled... I think the small ones were done in about 12 hours. The other ones went 16, and then they went into a cooler for, I don't know, it was probably about four hours. Mm. But, I mean, you helped me shred them. Mm-hmm. One, they fell apart, but, I mean, they were still friggin' hot. Way hot, yeah. yeah. That was awesome. So. Fed a lot of kids. Do you know how much, did they have any left over? I have no idea what they had left over. Mm. But, yeah, there were, I don't know, there were about 200 people there. So, yeah, there was plenty of meat to go yeah. around. But yeah. I think I a did, lot got eaten. I did see several boys going back for seconds, thirds, and mm-hmm. even later that night, I heard there were people sneaking in for yeah <laughs> for little snacks. So I'm glad they had what they needed. Yeah, that's awesome. <clears throat> um, but I think what you were hinting at before I I was I'm sorry. So we should maybe like write some things down before we just send it. We used to do that. We, we used did, to have man. like this nice we were like, organized show notes and. We need to we need to do better. Yep. Um, no, so shout out this week. Mike, you take it away here. Yeah, so I uh and I mean maybe this is common knowledge to all of our listeners. Brian Baumgartner, he plays Kevin on the office. Okay, known for his uh chili recipe. It's a hilarious uh, episode. Do you think the chili recipe is in the book? That's a good question. I feel like it would have to be. Maybe not, because it's not necessarily barbecue. But anyway, he's into it. He's got a barbecue cookbook called Seriously Good Barbecue Cookbook. And, uh, I mean, I'm I'm kind of excited. When I started following him on TikTok, he had like 40 followers. So I think he's relatively new to at least that. Um, but it, it looks like on Instagram he has a lot more, and he's been posting a lot more. Um, but excited to kind of follow that and see where it goes. He's got, I mean, a lot of um, marketing and stuff with some big names. You can see him on, uh, you know, it looks like he's got pictures from like Good Morning America and all kinds of uh, news broadcasts. So anyway, I thought we'd shout him out because he's got uh, some sweet stuff going on. Hey, and if there was ever an original fat guy. Yeah. I think Kevin's our guy. Absolutely. So, um, today we're going to be making my marinated me. grilled chicken breast with seriously good whipped garlic sauce. They so I have a good great recipe simple. for That's a what homemade I'm Italian dressing I marinade. I want to know Here more about this garlic good sauce barbecue mm-hmm. cookbook. I usually marinate about four or five hours like before it. putting really the chicken on the grill. I'm going to use a gas grill, and we're going to use a combination of direct like and indirect heat. Fan. Also, make sure that you while. use hackers tongs because yes. if you use bear tongs you're not gonna win yes Ooh. go pack go while the chicken is i didn't cooking, realize he was a packer lemon juice like safflower oil some Filthy salt and of course heads. okay so here garlic. it is so you peel the garlic add some oil as you're processing and you get whipped delicious perfect on chicken or any vegetables just, so it's just like just processed garlic. garlic. We are and done a with our oil. direct heat on our chicken. Now we're going to move like, this like we got to indirect heat. There. There's nothing on, on under here. This is my secret. 
for keeping the chicken I feel like moist, I just missed a reference delicious, there. not dry. It's been about 15 to 20 minutes. The chicken is done. It looks absolutely delicious. From my seriously good barbecue cookbook, my grilled chicken mm. with seriously good. good whipped I just love how simple sauce. it is. Yeah, we that's what I like. It looks like something you could so just enjoy. Make. It's easy. Like you don't got to go to the store, get super intense ingredients. Like, I don't know what safflower oil is. I'd probably just use... Uh, Canola. You know, whatever I have, yeah. But <laughs> little, I mean, little grapeseed avocado, pretty oil. normal stuff. So, anyway, yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to kind of look at it. He's got some ribs and some skewers. Hey man, so that's uh, it's like Mexican street corn right there. I know. I watched that one. It looks pretty dang good. I might, I might have to purchase that book just to kind of. I know. Check I'm gonna, it out. I'm gonna cut back over to. Uh, to us here mm-hmm. and while you talk a little bit about the pizza oven you just got i'm gonna look at the book all right sounds good uh yeah so i got a members mark pizza oven so i talked about my experience i mean it's been a few uh a few months we went to my buddy john uh carly's house he has a gosney so kind of at the higher end of the uh, pizza oven spectrum but he, um, I mean, he, he showed us kind of how he does it. And he's he's a lot more hardcore than I'll probably ever be. But he has a delicious recipe for dough that he spends like the whole day before prepping all the dough, putting it into, uh, you know, sizable portions. Um, I mean, proofs it all day. It's, it's a process. Um, and then he has delicious, authentic Italian ingredients. So... We had like prosciutto, we had, uh, you know, salami and, and all kinds of things that I can't pronounce. Um, and then legit like mozzarella cheese, like in the, like, I, it, I mean, it looked a lot, it didn't look like the mozzarella cheese that I'm used to, like the cheese stick, basically. I mean, it's, it's big, it's thick. Um, he made his own tomato, uh, did he, pizza sauce. Did he make his own mozzarella? Uh, I don't think so. Just bought the like yeah. the ball of the yeah. ball of mozzarella. I could be wrong, John. If I lied about this, you let us know. But I don't think so. He did, however, make his own sauce. Just crushed up the tomatoes, threw in a little. I feel like a little salt and then some basil, and that was it. And it was so good. Like Dude, a really I, good sauce. I love basil. Yeah, I mean it was incredible. So, anyway. Um, we kind of uh, did our own redneck version of that. We've been. My mom just got this Members Mark pizza oven, and we did it as a family, and it was really fun. The kids had a blast. So we've kind of been watching it, and it came down in price. So Whitney went and picked it up yesterday. So unboxed it, and I mean, it just runs off a propane tank. Uh, I put it out on my uh, on my grill. And one thing I will say about the Gosney, at least the one John had, it was. I mean, and it's legit, but you have to have, like, the special flipper as it's in, you know. Uh, You kind of have to um, twist the pizza as you do it. This one has a turntable in, like, the middle stone turns and rotates. And I really like that aspect. Yeah. Because I kind of sucked at the turning thing. It definitely, I mean, I think... Once you get good at it, I'm sure it's not bad, but I was not very good at it. Yeah. My uh, my Blackstone's like that, and I'm a big fan of it just rotating into itself. Yeah. Because my, my uni is just a stone, and you kind of got to spin it, and it's, yeah. it's hard. Yeah, I love that I can just click it, and then it, you know. Is this the... That's the one. Is this the right one? Yeah, uh, that's the one. Let me just throw this up. So it's small. I mean, you're not going to, you know, do a family size pizza, but... It's kind of fun because all my kids kind of helped and made their own pizzas. And we we kept it simple. We just did sauce and cheese. We didn't know how well it was going to work. And Whitney makes her own pizza dough. She has for a few years that is just incredible. Worked out really well in this. So That's awesome. Um, but it was a lot of fun. The kids had a blast. and Door, no door? No door. No door. No okay. door. Nope. So, I mean, I'm excited to keep using it, try different things. I think that's part of the fun is... Having different ingredients and stuff, but where we just kind of wanted to try it. Yeah, and it, you know, is this the right price? Yeah, that's what we that's what we yeah, got it for. For one forty nine, that's 
Yeah. yeah, that's a killer deal for what it is. And we were talking about this. Like, I don't need the top of the line of it, of something like that because I'm not going to be making pizza, you know, every day or even every week. Well, but for the five or six times a summer, I'll probably end up using this. It's really, I mean, that's not a bad price. It, no, it's an awesome price. And like, big plug to members, Mark. Yeah. Um. I mean, I know Sam's Club, Walmart, they. They get a bad rap sometimes, Mm -hmm. but the members mark has a pellet grill, a flat top, like Blackstone type grill, Mm -hmm. um, a, what I think of as a traditional, like four or five burner gas Mm -hmm. grill. They've got the pizza oven. They also have, I'll call it like a party grill, but it's, I don't know. 48 inches, 50 inches long, and 18 inches deep with oh, like wow. six or seven burners on it. I didn't know that. Um, and they're all like, they're pretty decent quality. Yeah. Really good reviews on them from everything I've seen. We've got a buddy that's got the Members Mark Grill. I gave a member mark, Members Mark Grill away at a work competition years ago um, that I know they still have it. They still use it. And mm-hmm. if you're not going to be using it every single day and you just want to be able to get into something like it's a great price point and like a really good value for the money yeah and i i was saying even if you are going to use it every single day you can buy five of those for the price of something that's i know significantly better so if the quality is there i think it's totally worth it yeah no i think they're great um yeah i think it's just the it like gets in gets to the point where once you hit a certain volume it's like thermometers like you can buy a great instant read thermometer that takes three seconds to read for 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. Super accurate. Three seconds is stupid fast. Mm -hmm. When you're cooking 12 pork shoulders, the one second read makes a huge difference in the process. More than you would think. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So big, uh, I'm a big fan of them, but I'm excited to, I'm excited to hear more about your experience with it. Yeah. I'm going to have to, I mean, like, like we, I just put it on my porch. My kids made their cheese and we had like great value pizza sauce, which I'm uh-huh. not a huge fan. It's fine. But yeah. I'm excited to try some different things and see kind of what we do, yeah. but had a and, good time. Uh, hey, Mike, just, uh, just for point of reference, how long did it take to cook? It did not take very long. <laughs> About a minute per pizza. <laughs> uh, seriously, six months ago, if you told me there existed a device that would cook a pizza in... One minute, I would have called you a fool. I I don't think it was about. I think it was about four months ago. You're right. And I did, and you did, <laughs> and we're like having a panic attack that I had just told the world. I lies. did. I was like, John, what are you saying, dude? You can't just start making crap up like this. <laughs> it is. It is. Uh, I am a believer. Like, I, it's super crazy. Yeah. No, they're super cool. Yeah. And I'm a. Uh, so I've had an uni for years and use it off and on. Um, that one's wood. It's got wood pellets, just like a Traeger. Can you just use your pellets uh-huh. from yeah. here? Oh, okay, that's kind of nice then. Yeah, it's nice to have one fuel source, but it takes a while to get hot. It takes a while, like it's hard to keep hot when you're cooking a bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but now I've got the Blackstone that sets up pretty quick. It heats up, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um and I'm excited to do more pizzas. I'm also excited to like try and sear some steaks off and stuff. In oh them yeah, you and, told me about that. I forgot about that. Yeah, I've heard That'd I've heard good things. So in the pizza, do you have to flip them? Uh, I would imagine so. And do you think you can just put them straight on the stone, or do you think you'd want? Something I've always things? seen like cast iron, okay, pans yeah, or that something. Makes sense, I guess. Hmm. So I don't know. I'm excited to play with mine more. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to see what else it has to offer. So, so. anyway, shout out to Members Mark Pizza Oven. Yeah. Well done. Not a sponsor yet, dude. <laughs> if we can get, if we can get Brian Baumgartner and the Walton organization <laughs> to recognize us, like I'm done. I'm I'm ready to retire. We're well, doing it, man. Uh, yeah. But one of the cool things about those is those pizzas cook friggin' hot. Yeah. Like, that's part of the reason it only takes a minute. It's eight, 900 degrees in those ovens. Mm-hmm. Um, and you get to do it outside, which means 
your house stays cool. Yes, 100%. Which is mission critical because, one, like, we cooked brownies on, I think it was on Sunday. Mm. And, dude, it took our house to a whole nother <laughs> level of hot. Yeah, dude. That whole section <laughs> just gets shut down for a few hours. Yeah. We just cooked, like, garlic bread for, you know, 15 minutes. And it was like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. So that's one of the cool things about having a pellet grill is, and we've talked a lot about this, but especially once you're above 300, like you're into 350, 400 degrees, like it's a different taste than a gas oven or an electric oven. Like there is some wood fired taste to it, Mm -hmm. but it's not a heavy smoke. Mm -mm. So anything you can cook in your oven, you can cook outside. Yeah. Which man, for us, for years, we... Like, weird to the point where the oven doesn't turn on. Mm. All summer, huh? All summer. Dude, that's Everything awesome. gets cooked outside. Well, seriously, you can do, I mean, Papa Murphy's pizzas and the pellet grill, really so good. So much better. And about the same time, so. Well, and it's, I think it's actually even a little bit faster. Mm. Because it, the pellet grill has this, like, natural convection, mm-hmm. like, tendency just because of the shape of the cooking chamber. Right. I was, I'm trying to remember what I was looking at. I was reading, oh, it was on, I wasn't reading anything. I was watching, uh, it's on Netflix. What's the barbecue cook-off? I think that's what the Great American Barbecue Cook-off or something. Yeah, the Great, whatever mm-hmm. their barbecue cooking shows. Yeah. But they were to, they were talking about different, like, cooking devices, and they were talking about the, the drums. Mm-hmm. And about how they cook hotter and they cook faster than other cookers because you get this like vortex effect of the circle. Yeah, so more than just direct heat, but the vortex. Interesting. I yeah. remember him saying that. So same thing in uh, same thing in in the pellet grill. Yeah, you get a little bit of this like convection function that helps things cook a little faster. But mm-hmm. man, we've done everything out there. Yeah, you've done bread and stuff. I've never done bread. But... Bread. Um, I did cookies one time. I only did them once, and I think I cooked them too hot. Mm-hmm. It's been a long time, so I don't really remember. But I, I remember thinking like, "Oh, this is a me issue, not a really. This is a gross smoke issue." Mm. So, Would you just put those on a cookie sheet? Mm-hmm. Mm. Put them on a cookie sheet and put them out. Okay. You do have to clean the clean the grill. I was gonna say you would definitely not want any of that crease, so like you'd never get your cookie sheet clean again. Yeah, it. Uh, and I, <laughs> I have designated cookie sheets that I'm allowed to use outside, mm. and other ones that aren't allowed to go outside. I have a similar situation. The same thing house. with casserole dishes. There are yeah. the casserole dishes that are allowed on the smoker, and the ones that aren't. <laughs> it's funny that the ones that are are the ones that I used without permission, and then had to replace with the ones that aren't. So you know, yeah, do the math there. Right, but um. <laughs> Yeah. I think the big thing is cleaning the drip pan. And yeah. na- and now with the with the scrub daddy, man, you can get those grates super clean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that was sweet. always the hard part is like trying to get all the the grease and drippings off of the off the grate. And mm-hmm. You never really could, but you really can now with that. Dude, that, with that scrub that daddy. barbecue daddy is the real deal. Big fan. Yeah. Um so we talked about talking about maybe some of the other things that you could cook outside. So we kind of talked about bread and pizza and stuff. What are your thoughts on kebabs? Kaboobs. Kaboobs. Um, kebabs. Haley loves them. Kind of indifferent. Yeah. Mostly because like, I just feel like there's so much work. Yeah. I, I like a veggie basket. On my mm. gas grill. Okay. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna do it on my gas grill, I would just as soon have a veggie basket. Um, I've got one. It covers about half of my Weber. What's a veggie and, basket, John? So veggie basket. Think of that cookie sheet that we were just talking about. Mm-hmm. But it's got, I don't know, quarter to half inch holes. Let's call them three eighths inch. Okay. Holes in a pattern all over the bottom of it, so heat comes through it, but. Mm-hmm. But the veggies Your don't veggies fall don't. through the grates. and 
it's stainless steel. I think mine's got sides, like little um, three quarter inch sides on three sides. Okay. Hit it with oil, throw the veggies on there, kind of toss them, turn them. Um, I'm actually excited this summer if I'm going to do them. Like I'm just going to do them on the blackstone. Oh yeah. So I guess that makes sense more than uh, the grill, although yeah. they don't get the like yummy grill flavor, but. Yeah. The Blackstone's pretty awesome for that. That's yeah. true. Do your veggies there, throw uh throw your meat on a on a grill. It just I'm just lazy. Yeah. That and the other thing is to really do good kebabs, like you've got to do veggies and then you've got to do meat separately because they cook at different temperatures that's, and rates. That's always been my experience is I get the meat done perfect and the veggies are charred mm-hmm. just like oh. I mean, cool. Yeah, so I've already started, like, I started separating my kebabs into, this is a veggie one, this is a meat one. Mm, that's a good idea. Um, but it's just, it's so much work. Um, so that's that's why I'm indifferent. I think it's a cool presentation. I think it looks cool and it's fun. And mm-hmm. if you're having a, like, a party or something mm-hmm. where you're walking around, maybe it's great because... It's on the stick, and you can just kind of pick yeah, it up and eat true. it. Yeah, You don't need dishes, necessarily. <laughs> yeah. I like okay. I like it from that aspect. Yeah. But if I'm just going to come inside and put it on a plate anyways... Yeah. I'm not into it. I like it. So That's a good call. So. Hmm. Um, speaking of not having dishes, this is not related to cooking outside. We can get back to that in a minute. But Haley bought, um, like, food service baskets... Like, ima- oh, okay. like imagine, uh, I think Culver's uses them. Yeah. Or, so she, we've got baskets and uh, and papers. Dude. That That's what the kids get to use. Yeah. Now. How is it? It's awesome. You can put anything on that. Yeah. So we had, we had tortellini and broccoli tonight. And I was like, uh, babe, like, can we use plates? And she's like, yeah, I think we can use plates. And the kids were like freaking out. They're like, we don't use plates. <laughs> But man, it's it's amazing how much our dishes like have been cut back. Yeah. So do you wash the basket after, or do you just chuck the paper? And you it's can if clean? you need to, but I, I mean, a lot of times you use it and you just wipe. What you kind know, of paper rack. is there? Specific papers that you buy, or do you just rip off they some ca- like butcher paper? Yeah, they came with basket or with papers. Okay. But it's like I don't know, ten inch by ten inch, somewhere between um, parchment and wax paper. Yeah. But it, I know you can buy paper like twelve inch food service paper at uh, at Sam's Club. Yeah, Whitney, I know you're listening. I'm into this. Timu it up, Whitney. That'd be sweet. Is that where she got it, Timu? No, she got it on Amazon. But I did order. Whitney, I placed my first Timu order. Yeah, Whitney's been uh, Whitney's been a uh, Timu champion for a while. Yeah. No, I uh, I got some. Drip bucket liners for my oh, for my pellet grill. Interesting, and they got them on Timu, huh? Yeah, better price than like Amazon. Eh, it was probably sixes. Mostly, I just want to try out Timu. Yeah, there are things that I like about it and things that I hate about it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think mostly I will still be an Amazon guy, but yeah. I've never used it. But my wife is really into it, so I'll be like, "Hey, does Timu have this?" And she'll be like, "Yeah, dude." Although at the Super Bowl, we learned it's supposed to be Temu, apparently. Oh. Been saying it wrong our whole life. And by our whole life, I mean the six months it's been around. Sorry, China. Yep. They'll get over it. Yep. I don't know. We are the number one barbecue podcast in northern Utah. In northern Utah. Northern Utah, southern Idaho, and let's face it, all of Wyoming. Undisputed heavyweight champion. So... Sorry, I forgot the plug at the beginning. Had to get it in there. That's all right. So. We should uh, we should have shirts. I feel like. <laughs> Do you think we should have shirts that say that? I support it. No. Okay. Um, other things you can cook outside. Breakfast. Yeah. Yep. And and this is a year round one, but it's if you've got a blackstone, which we're spoiled. We're uh, we've got the blackstone warehouse. Yeah. Like around the corner, I was just there today. Man, two hundred bucks for a thirty-six inch blackstone. Really? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. So Are they have their warehouse sell right now. No, they just they've got a regular factory you store. Just walk in there and 
Jeez, I need to go get another uh, cover. I should go in there. Yeah. Hmm. I bought a cover today, 10 bucks. Really? Maybe it was 12 Dude, right on. I'll tell you here in a second. Mo's made quick work of my cover, so. I've now, guys, I've now gotten a doggy gate for the grills. And the dogs have been not a problem. Not the Duke, it was ever a problem, but. It's a happy day at the Bohm house. <clears throat> it was... Wait for it. Drum roll. 1267. That's pretty awesome, actually. For a Blackstone 36-inch griddle cover. Okay. Legit Blackstone, too. Not one of these knockoffs that no, don't man. fit right. Factory store. How to go hit that up? Are they open all the time? Uh, Yeah. Every day? Yeah, they open at 10. Okay. Up north, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, if you go up to 2500 mm-hmm. and take the first left after the airport cool. when you're heading towards Main Street. Just drive down there to the stop sign and then it's just right through there. Have to hit them up. Yep. So they're awesome, but I think cooking breakfast outside, one, you can cook everything at the same time and like it just keeps the house from smelling like breakfast all day long it's hot, it's fast, um, and clean up's a breeze. Yeah. So, big fan of that. Um, I don't, lunch is the one that's, like, hard. Lunch is tricky. I mean, you can always go, like, frozen burger patty or hot dogs or something. I feel like that's usually my go-to for lunch if I'm home. It's just a quick frozen, throw it on there, cook it. Yeah, or leftover something. Breakfast burritos or something. Yeah. Yeah. Any other uh, great ideas to cook outside to keep the house cool? I'm trying to think, man. But really, like we said, you can use your um, you can use your Blackstone the same way you would use your burners in your house. You can mm-hmm. use your... Um, yeah, to include, like... I mean, I've fried on my... Yeah, you have made fries, haven't you? Yeah, I took a 9 by 13 aluminum pan, put it out on on my Blackstone, filled it up with oil, and... I had oil that was 400 degrees, mm. which was awesome. That's sweet. I um, I made tots the other day. Oh, yeah? Have I talked about this? I don't They're think so. They're pretty good. I got the old Rida on your suggestion. They turned out really good. Did you I let them thaw fan. a little bit yep. before you put them out there? Sure did. And I forgot that, and Whitney told me or reminded me. So, it was oh, Whitney. Really good. I know. A... Dude, avid listener. She would probably win a trivia question game thing oh the next the oh, next shoot. girl episode have the like girls it. on yeah see how well they're listening bad that guys with smokers all right i think we got to figure it out and they both like games yeah Th- they that do. may be the way that's true that's the only way we're gonna get Haley back on here i know if like only it. we could figure out a way to like make this a card game yes we could write the questions. Fat guys on with cards. smokers card game. <laughs> Everybody, look for the fat guys with smokers card game coming soon to a Sam's Club near you because they're going to be a sponsor. Christmas twenty twenty six twenty thirty. Oh, all right. Well, until next time, I'm Mike <laughs> and I'm John, and we're fat guys with smokers. Thanks for listening to the Fat Guys with Smokers podcast. Be sure to check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Be sure to subscribe so you don't forget to tune in for even more nonsense from a couple of Fat Guys with Smokers. Don't forget to like, subscribe.